What's up, YouTube? Just did some quick shopping at Walmart. For all you truck drivers out here that want to eat nice or we want to eat good, if you got your refrigerator or something, don't spend all your money shopping at the truck stop. Uh, save you a lot of money shopping at Walmart. That's what I do. Man, look at this view right here, though. Man, that's a nice view. I'm out here in Colorado. As you can see, man, you see a nice view of the mountain. I'm at, still at this Walmart. Walmart just sitting on the hill. But, yeah, man. It's beautiful. Yeah, like I said, so you guys want to save you some money, just um, shop at Walmart. Save you a ton of money. You know, buying food at the truck stops can be expensive, especially at every meal you're paying for is down there nine to ten dollars. So save you some money, shop for the week. You got a a fridge or at least an iceless cooler, an iceless cooler, and you can cook on your truck, then you'll be set, you'll be good to go. And you'll be good to go. I hope it ain't too dark, my face ain't too dark, but you can't see me, because I'm behind this Walmart, behind this Walmart in the shade. But man, 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 look at this view. Look at that view behind me. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Yeah, man. Life of an OTR driver. Even though I'm far away from home, I still make the best of it. Won't spend a lifetime doing this. Yeah, OTR. But I'm gonna enjoy it for the moment. Make as much money as I can. Yeah. So I just made my first delivery. Uh, I got another pickup tonight at 8 o'clock. Uh, it looks like it, I'm going to be late because of uh, the, the time that my appointment is set up for. Well, from both appointments. But I'm going to try to go and get as close as I could to where I need to pick my load up. I'm going to try to go there. Uh, once I go there. Because I think I, once I, I'm heading over to Denver now. So once I go to, this, go to the terminal in Denver, I'm going to head over to, uh, to where I need to make to go pick up my next load. And when I pick that up, then I got to head to Illinois. The way my appointment time was set up, well, the way that my appointment times for my delivery, which was for 6.30 in the morning, and I, I have a pickup for my next load at uh, 8 o'clock tonight, actually. So... I'm gonna try to uh, go to sleep and sleep and shut down at the shipper. So, hey. So, just left the Bank of America, got on some business. Now I gotta head over into Denver. I'm like 15 minutes, I'm like 10 minutes away from Denver. About to head over to the Denver Terminal. Uh, go pick up my uh, trailer. Welcome to Denver. 
Just made it to down four. Yeah, so hopefully uh, I can find a reefer trailer. Hopefully. Just now making it at the terminal. So after looking around and driving through the terminal uh, parking lot, uh, they got a shitload of drive-in trailers, but no, uh, there's no more reefer traders uh, left over. So. I got to sit here and wait until a trailer is available. Why well, I say it's available, but I got to wait on the planner to send me a new trailer. Well, I knew that location to go pick up a trailer, a reefer trailer, because they have a ton of uh, drive-in trailers. Like every terminal I go to, they got a shitload of drive-in terminals. I understand why. I understood why. Because at one point, they was just a, a drive-in company. At one point, they was just a drive-in company. So, man, they really do need some more reefer trailers. So, I'm going to wait till they call me back and... Uh, I'll uh, film, uh, film what happened and give an update. So I just got an update. Uh, I just got a, they want me to just pull in uh, at the shipper. And uh, the load that I'm picking up is going to be a preload. So I don't have to, I don't need a trailer to uh to head into the shipper. I'm just gonna bobtail in and my trailer is already gonna be loaded so that's the good news. So about to get ready and roll out and uh go pick up this trailer. I think I've been to stop to stop at Walmart for a second time. Probably give me something to eat and give me a case of water and Gatorade for the week. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. A case of water and some Gatorade. So I'm going to get ready to head out. And um, go get my load. Man, look at that, though. I ain't never seen nothing like that before. Damn, man, I got it at the wrong time. I got to pull off. So now I'm at the shipper. Uh, I got here early. It's like three in the afternoon right now. My appointment time uh, was for eight o'clock actually. But uh, I found out it was a preload. You know, earlier I said that I was looking for a trailer, a reefer trailer, because I had a drive-in trailer. Uh, I called my uh, my home terminal and they told me that uh, I didn't need a trailer I can just bobtail in because it's a preload so my trailer is already loaded that's good problem is I only got like four hours on my clock and I already started early in the morning so ain't no way in hell I'm about to drive right now I mean I could but it's only 900 miles I can do that in a day and a half so Plus, like I said, my appointment time wasn't for until 8 o'clock, and it's already about to be 3. So, I've been going ahead and hook up to my trailer, and I've been, um, call it a wrap, and I'm going to go ahead and shut down for like 10 hours. 
I'm going to go ahead and shut down for 10 hours and give me some sleep. Then I'm going to go ahead and bang out probably about, I'm going to try to get it by at least about 600 miles. So let me go ahead and uh, get this started. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down and get some sleep. Yeah, man, so I'm going to just do a little quick little, uh, pre-trip. The temperature set on here at 26. So just check everything now. I'm going to make sure that I'm under under the trailer and connected. So let me go on here and get up on that. Man, they parked this trailer so close. I can't even walk that way. What? I'm going to get up under it. This is what all you truck drivers should be doing when you are uh, hooking up, go under your trailer and make sure that you're connected the right way. So, I'm just taking a car walk around, checking everything out, making sure everything decent. Got them super sinks. So yeah, can't even go behind the trailer. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish hooking up to this trailer. Yeah, so just left the ship up, about to get, pull into this little uh, small truck stop and call it a day. So. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So I'm still on this load um, that I picked up in Colorado. I just drove uh, 636 miles today. Damn. I didn't even know I drove that long. But I'm out here at the, uh, what they call this, Iowa 80 truck stop. One of the biggest truck stops um, in America. I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna show y'all. Show y'all how it look. So I'm like 60 miles away. Deliver in the. Um, I deliver in the morning at 7:30. Now I just got a preset they just put on me. And. Yeah, man, I'm a film uh, when I make it to my final, so it's going to be a day in the life of a truck driver. I think that's why I might call this video series, but yeah. Let me get out and show y'all the, um, the truck stop, though, if, if, you never, if you've never been here before. It's real big. Yeah, man, so as y'all can see, they got the truck museum. They got the truck museum. I'm not gonna go all the way over there, so I'm gonna go zoom in. And you can see the truck museum right there. So I think they closed for right now, so I can't even go in there. But next time I come through here, I'm gonna uh, go, go in there. And so you guys can see it. So I'm uh, closer to the truck stop. I don't know if y'all can see this clear or not. Come on, let me walk to the shade. They actually have a truck in the building. Yeah, man. I'm about to get ready to walk in the inside, though. It's a super truck show. So they got a truck. I think it's a 53 foot trailer, but. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So we're going to walk in the inside and take a look real quick. As y'all can see, they got the revolving truck. 
the spinner. Let me see if you can go on the inside. No, it ain't revolved. You got the manual on it. The manual gear shift. Man, chromed out. Man, man, man. I thought it was moving at first. Yeah, but I, I just wanted to show y'all the inside real fast, but I'm about to get ready to go get me something to eat. It's been a long 10 and a half hour drive. I wanted to um, go inside the museum. What I showed y'all um, was the inside the truck stop. You got the truck stop. Uh, it's on one side, then you got the museum on the other side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just show y'all real quick. See, that's the truck stop right there. No, I'm sorry, that's not the truck stop. That's the uh, the truck museum. I haven't been in there yet. It's like my fifth time or sixth time coming here. I haven't been in there yet. But that's where the, um, that's the truck museum, but they say I-80, Iowa 80 trucking museum, yeah, and right over here, that's the truck stop, where you see that big, big, uh, Iowa 80 sign, yeah, that's the truck stop, so, yeah, I'm gonna try to do uh, more videos like this, probably like once a week. Um, well, I'm going to uh, show you guys when I'm picking up a load and uh, when I'm also delivering a load. So, dang, they got a grab bus that go to Chicago from here? i never seen one of those buses. Trailways? Yeah, it's like a charter bus. Well, not a charter bus, but... Yeah, I guess people go out of town. Why well, are some ominous people getting on the bus? Yeah, man. So I'm gonna try to shoot these videos as much as, uh, as much as possible. Probably like once a week I'm gonna drop a video. It's gonna be a uh, a series of videos. So this is gonna be like the first episode. I'm just gonna uh, film and show uh, what I'm, what I, what I'm, what what I usually do out here, really. Yeah, so just stay tuned. Um, I gotta deliver this load on uh, tomorrow at 7:30. I'm gonna make it an hour early, though. I'm like an hour away, so I mean, I'm gonna leave. When I leave, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna leave three hours uh, before my appointment time. Yeah, if I leave three hours before my appointment time, then I'll be, uh, then I'll be an extra hour early, really. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my food. I got me some pizza, all right? Was gonna go with uh, Taco Bell, but I don't feel like. It. Yeah, man, it's warm out here, too. A lot of truck stops. Oh, yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention. This truck stop has about 900 parking spaces. That's a lot of spaces. And I'm just so lucky to get a, a space that's by the uh, door. I'm uh, right by the door, which is even better. Which is way better. My, my ten ten hour break is up, and um, I'm heading to my final to uh, to deliver. So I'm, I'm heading to the Walmart DC so I can deliver this load, and that will conclude this trip. So, here I am, I 
just made it to my final stop. So, about to check in, get this load uh, unloaded, get my trailer unloaded, and that was going to conclude this trip. So, about to get ready and check in real quick. Already here, yeah, so. So, um, this, is my, this is my final stop right here, and I'm delivering this load. So, when I first started, I was in, Cal in Colorado, and I just, um, I'm ending it, ending this video in Illinois right now at my final stop. I'm at a door getting, getting, uh, getting unloaded. So I'm gonna try to uh, film more videos like this as much as I can. While well, I just film um, from when I pick my load up, and then I'm just gonna film. Uh, the whole trip from when I pick the load up until I deliver. So uh, these videos, I'm gonna try to drop them probably, um, I can't really put a time on it, probably like once every week or once every other week. It depends. Uh, I might just do it when I have short trips. That way it'll be more easier. But if I get like 1,500 mile trips and stuff like that, it's going to take a lot of time, a lot more time to film and then edit. But I will be dropping videos uh, more like more often that's like this. Just to give you guys something to watch, you know, just to see, you know, what goes on out here. Um, I know um, in about a month or so, I will be getting me uh, some new equipment for filming to, um, you know, just to have a, a higher quality uh, video for when I'm filming. But yeah, man, this concludes this, uh, this video. So it's been your boy Trucker States and peace.